Hello, every waste cracking buddy. Here we are in Vault 111, and in the last video, I had a slight glitch during the cutscene. So, I'm going to replay the entire decontamination sequence, and then we'll continue along okay. deeper into the vault. Daddy's here we right go. Here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Manual vocalize initiated. Biogenic state. Suspect. So there you go, it's the glitch-free cutscene. Sorry that it glitched out last time, but anyway, that's Bethesda for you. Now anyway, here's my wife. Poor lady. Come on, I can't come on, do come anything. on! Oh god! <laughs> All of a sudden he's panicking again. Oh! It opened. I didn't know that. Come on, say something. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. She's kind of frozen. I'm talking to a corpse. Uh, who? Yeah, there. There's that guy. Uh, I don't think there's really anyone else we can interact with here. It's just the same thing. It's our neighbors. Uh, however, there is a terminal here. Let's check out the manifest. You never know what the hell's going on in Vault 111 until you look at the manifest. Here's the pod occupant status. We'll just look at that and then we'll head out. See, there's it talks about the cryogenic array. And if you want to read it, just pause the video. Uh, here's life support. Life support, please. Thank you. Yeah, and then you click it to uh, fill the screen really fast. So you don't have to wait for it to like uh, uh, populate. And then pod occupant status. There's, oh, pod C1 is empty. That's interesting. Is that me? No, this is me. Pod C7. Pod occupant status unknown, remote, override, engaged. Well, it wasn't a remote override. I overrode it from within. Oh yeah, there's also a terminal bug in Fallout 4 for the PC users. Uh, I'm going to show you that bug if you have this a certain setting selected. Yeah, but luckily I don't have that bug right now because I've got adaptive frame rate on. It's all about the frame rate for some strange reason. Alright, let's exit the cryo chamber. 
<laughs> there's pretty much only one way you can go through Vault 111. Um, but we are going to explore every inch of this vault. <coughs> Whoa. Well, that, I thought this was a power room, but this is another cryogenic chamber. Let's go in there and see what's in here. Oh, man. More. Yep, more pods. Everyone's dead. Every single person. How could this happen? Yeah, come on. Well, override it. Open it. No, it's not opening. It's like uh, my wife's cryopod is the only one that opened. Yeah, I can't get these to open. <laughs> what do you know? Some open, some don't. And then here's another manifest. It's just pretty much the same exact thing. And then it just shows which occupants are in these pods. Uh, there's probably like six of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's Mr. Whitfield again. Hey. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. That's how they all died, actually. Except my wife. She died of a bullet wound. But of course, the diagnostics wouldn't know that. It just knows unknown because there was some kind of override. Alright. Up next there, two doors. This, if I remember right, this is the door we entered to get into the cryo chamber to begin with. And it was, it's inaccessible. Okay, and wow, I can I can loot already. Well, that's awesome. Well, let's take it. I don't know why I'm gonna need it, but <laughs> all right. Uh, so if we can't go out that way, looks like this is the only other way to choose. Now remember, it is pretty linear. The opening is linear, and it's because uh, it kind of has to push you through a introduction to the main story. Uh, otherwise, how would the story make sense, right? So this is normal, just in the beginning of the game, to be a little bit linear. Don't worry, it opens up. It's a very big world out there. Uh, and I do take my time and I go very slowly through the game, in general, uh, because I'm very thorough. And so I try not to miss anything. And I point out all the good loot, all the good locations, every little detail about every situation. Like here is a stim pack. I mean, most people would have seen that, but oh, there's my Zikohecken. Cushion. Whoops. Oh, wow. The chairs actually move finally for the first time. Okay. And then you could take the coffee cup if you want. Okay, here's the security terminal. We're not going to spend much time in here. I just wanted to take a look at a, a little bit of the lore. Here's the Vault 111 security instructions. Um, pause if you want to read this. You just pause the video and you can read the whole thing. We're not going to, like, read every single terminal. Don't worry. Operations protocol manual. So pause if you want to read this. Here's resident admittance. Yeah, you just pause if you want to read it. Okay, and then, no, well, let's look at all clear and evacuation. That's kind of something interesting that I wanted to read about. All clear message. <laughs> Man, it's the sub menus are pretty deep in here. Yeah, so pause if you want to read that. It kind of mentions like it's instructions for the overseer how to evacuate. But I don't know why they need to evacuate. <laughs> staff duties. Here's some staff duties. Here's the science staff. There. <laughs> Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. You know, it's like an uh, overseer is uh, overseeing the whole vault, but what's the point if everyone's in cryostasis, right? I swear I hear like some scratching and clicking around the next corner. Man, look at the tiling. Yeah, that's pretty good graphics, eh? Whoa, there's the power room. Okay. We've got a power room. And where does this go? No, actually, I think... No, I was already in here, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay, so now we go into this next chamber. I think this leads to... Nope, nope. Am I... I must be imagining things. Oh, yeah, here we go. This, this takes us into the next area. Yes. Um, but I thought I saw, yes, I saw a security baton. Let's take the security baton. There's our first weapon. Okay, so to cycle through the weapons, in the PC version at least, it's F, the F button. And then um, it put the security baton into slot 3, so I'll click that. Yeah, it says press 3 or 0 to use an equipped item. Well, don't press 0, that's, uh, that's the damn stim pack I just collected. I don't want to waste sim packs. Okay. Into the door. Oh, there's our first enemy. 
It's a rad roach. I recognize those rad roaches. Press mouse one to attack. Okay, that's easy enough. I mean, it's like every previous game. And just like Giant. every previous game. Roaches? Yep. What the hell? And of course, this is a new protagonist, so he's never seen giant rad roaches before. He's used to the regular, the old world, as it was. Okay. Well, of course, they're going to be congregating around the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. <laughs> I tried to turn my Pip-Boy on. Well, I don't have one yet. I'll show you how it works in a little while. Okay, uh, recreation terminal? Sure, let's go in there. Okay, overseer memo. Let's read that really quick. Okay, remember, recreational terminals are privileged. It's essentially like a game terminal. That's what it looks like. Um, look at this. Hollow tape, red menace. Let's do it. Play tape. We're not going to play the game, don't worry. I just wanted to get this into the inventory. Okay, start game. <laughs> In typical uh, 2075 fashion, it doesn't start. Yeah, this is essentially like a Donkey Kong. And there's a Vault Girl up there. We have to save Vault Girl. And there's Vault Boy in his uh, power armor. Okay, so it, it works a lot like Donkey Kong. You get it. Oh, see, there's a missile, which you have to be... Uh, whoops, vigilant about. And of course, I didn't even get to the third level. All right, so anyway, that was exciting, wasn't it? We'll play that later. I don't want to mess around too much with that right now. Um, let's loot the rest of the kitchen. It's important to loot. I'm doing this to show you the importance of looting in the beginning of the game because resources are very scarce. You have to realize just how scarce resources are. So take a look at everything and loot everything. Here's a hot plate. Well. We have plenty of room in our inventory. Let's take it. There's no reason not to take it, right? And there's a toaster. These uh, electronics are, like electrical appliances, are important because uh, they might have uh, circuitry that you need to make other units. Okay, there. We already were in there. Here's some barracks. Ooh, yeah, there should be something to loot in here, like under panties. Where's under pantalones? I don't see anything. A lot of these models are from the previous game, which is silly. Very silly. But, well, we get to loot stuff anyway, even if they're old models, right? There's nothing in here. Well, shit. What's this say? Eat well, live well, with cram and pork and beans. Oh, there's sweet rolls. Let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. Somebody did steal it, and I killed them. But that's that's another game for another time. Okay, here's the reactor room. Wow. Wow. You don't want to get caught in that arc. See, that poor bastard did, and he's dead. Uh, but I see another rad rochi. Now remember, uh, yeah, press mouse 2 to block. Okay, let's let's test out the blockade. Come on. Attack. Haha. -ha. Nice try. Chop. Alright, let's take the rad roach meat. Remember, you can eat that raw, or now you can cook it. You weren't able to cook what rad roach meat here? before. Where is everyone? Uh. Is this all that's left? Yes. Well, a skellington. That's all that's left of that guy, yeah. That, that was a dumb question to ask myself. And now I'm talking to myself. Let's see what happens when we get caught in the middle of this arc. Watch. Just, ouch! Yeah. Man, that doesn't feel good at all. Let's not do that again. Okay, moving along. There wasn't really a whole lot to see in here. Left alt to power attack. Alright, let's try out the power attacks. Why not, right? Chop. Yeah, see? And then... Chop. Even more powerful. But not like we needed to, because... <laughs> one blow takes these little guys out. Alright, why don't we end here? It's I know it's only 15 minutes in each video, but I'm recording these in 4K resolution, so the files are gigantic. I have to cut it off after 15. So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel, and you'll get all these Fallout 4 videos in your inbox. 
Go ahead and click the like button too and add a comment. That really helps me out if you like this channel. All right, we'll see you next time in Vault 111. Thanks for watching.